fucking sucks and I'm not gonna sugarcoat it right here it just plain simple sucks <laughs> What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of the Uprising series. Joe SPN here and today I wanted to talk to you guys about motivation and being discouraged with your progress. I apologize in advance for the noise that might be in the background but today I decided to change it up a bit. I've been trying to change up the scenery with my video just to keep it entertaining guys and to not bore you guys with the same old stuff at my house. But alright guys, so the summer has officially ended and a lot of you guys might have reached your goal and a lot of you guys might have not reached your goals. Now you might be disappointed, you might not have any motivation whatsoever to continue your journey. But that's what I'm here for, to push you guys, to motivate you guys, to keep on going with your journey. I wanted to use myself as an example, all right? I wanted to compare an aspect of my life, of this YouTube channel that might discourage me to stop with my YouTube channel journey so what you see right now on the screen is my youtube channel and my videos okay and uh, as you guys can see i have 766 subscribers and i upload usually once a week keep in mind that i do have a full-time job so i do not have that much free time to be able to film videos and edit videos full-time but anyways do not make any excuses all right but the thing that i want you guys to look at is the amount of views that i get per video okay now let's see the last video that was about four days ago from the time that i recorded this video it has 66 views. Let's see the other video one week ago. 66 views. I'm stuck at that 66, eh? <laughs> After that, we have a vlog and it has 91 views, okay? And after that, another vlog and 91 views. So as you guys can see, for having 766 subscribers, I would like to see at least 100 views. I mean, best case scenario, it would be awesome to see those views at least go up a bit, you know? For the amount of effort and time and quality that I put into those videos, I would like to reach a bit more people with them. To be honest, I believe 100% that I put quality content and also informative content out there. So when I put so much effort in a video, so much time filming, going outside to film a video and uh, spending hours, you know, editing the footage, editing thumbnail, thinking about titles, all those things do take time, all right? So when I put out a video out there that I think might be entertaining or might help a lot of people with their fitness journey and then when I see that it doesn't reach the amount of people that I would like you know uh, to reach considering I have 766 subscribers then it does discourage me and I lose all kinds of motivation to keep on going but today guys I'm here to tell you guys to not give up to never give up and keep on going all right all right just let cut the bullshit, all right? I fucking hate the fact that I'm not able to reach the amount of people that I won't want to reach considering all the time and effort that I put into those videos, all right? The same with your fitness journey. I'm not gonna sit here and I'm not gonna be all motivational and tell you guys, hey, it's okay, okay, keep on going, you know? You're on the right track. A slow progress is still progress. That is true, but it doesn't take away from the fact that it fucking sucks okay it fucking sucks for you to be putting all that effort into the gym and into your diet and at the end of the day at the end of the week of hard work and dedication it didn't pay off one bit you did not lose the 0.5 you did not lose the 1 kg that you were planning to lose or you just didn't reach the goal that you wanted to reach for that particular week all right that particular goal that you set up for yourself it fucking sucks and I'm not gonna sugarcoat it right here. It just plain simple sucks. But all right, we're not taking away the fact that it sucks. But see my views again, 66 people. How many of those people are new? Maybe it was one, maybe two people saw the video and took something away from it. Maybe three people, five people enjoyed the video and took something away from that video. So although I put so much effort into it and it might not have performed the way that I wanted it to perform, I still managed to reach and to impact one or two people. Now, is that enough for you? Is that enough for you to keep on going? Is that 0.1 kg that you lost enough for you to keep on going with your journey? If it isn't, what are you going to do? Are you going to just simply stop and give up? Why not just readjust yourself? Why not just think of ways that you can do in order to maybe reach a bit more people? Maybe you need to change up your routine. Maybe 
you need to change up your meal plan. Or maybe you need to hire a personal trainer. Hmm, hit me up on embeddedbodies.com, right? <laughs> but the point that I'm trying to make, guys, is if you're not reaching your goals, you should not be so quick to quit, okay, on those goals, okay? Make sure that you're giving it your best shot. Make sure that uh, you're readjusting yourself in order to be able to reach uh, that goal or make sure to set up small goals in between that big goal, all right? And at the end of the day, if you are slowly getting closer to that goal or if you're enjoying the journey and the process, then you're doing something right. For me, for example, I might not be getting the views that I would like to get with the time and effort that I put into those videos, but at the end of the day, I do enjoy creating that whole video and editing the video, so I do enjoy the journey around creating content. And that is the message that I want to bring over to you guys. I might have talked a lot during this video, but that is the main message around it, okay? You might not be where you want to be yet, but make sure that in the process you are enjoying the journey and that you are learning new things and that it's making you happy okay that is the main message that I want to bring to you guys today whether it's with YouTube whether it's with school whether it's with your fitness journey trying to lose weight or trying to build on some muscle make sure that you're enjoying the journey all the way although you might not be satisfied at all times and although you might be discouraged at some point make sure that uh, the overall picture of that goal is still making you happy if not change it up and get back to it all right guys but with that being said guys i'm gonna finish off this video right here remember as always that i'm a certified personal trainer so if you're looking for a workout routine a meal plan or an online personal trainer then hit me up on embeddedbodies.com all right but if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to leave a like on this video and let me know what you think of it in the comments down below all right so i guess i'll see you soon later guys Oh, 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 oh,